So now we're going after Allah, going down our list, inshallah, next is Abdurrahman ibn Auf. Abdurrahman ibn Auf was known for something that maybe one of the previous companions we had spoken about were also known for, very specifically his wealth. He radiallahu anh was extremely wealthy. Saying that, he was one of the companions, even with that wealth, he was willing to walk away from all of it. He was one who was generous, who donated a lot. And the one thing and the one characteristic that I think is very important to focus on when we talk about these wealthy individuals is that their wealth was in their hands and it wasn't in their heart. And this idea and this concept in Islam is known as zuhd. It's known as abstinence. It doesn't mean that we can't dress nicely. It doesn't mean that we can't look nice. And even the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was asked by one of the companions, well, I like to dress nice, Ya Rasulullah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded to him, telling him, Inna Allah jameel wa yuhibb al-jamal. That Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala is beautiful and he loves beautiful things. So it's very important for us to keep in mind that Abdurrahman ibn Auf, he would dress very well. Um, he would wear the best oils and perfumes. And that's how he, radiallahu anh, and then when he got to a point in his life where he was willing to abandon all those things, they had the same value for him as if he had those things again. So this idea of zuhud is one that is a state of the heart. It's not a, a physical being. So there's a lot of misconceptions when we talk about abstinence, when we talk about uh, this idea of zuhud, and that you just completely abandon the dunya. Yes, you abandon the dunya, not physically, but with our hearts, meaning that I don't have a connection to these things. I don't overly love these things. And having them and not having them is equivalent to me. And this was a beautiful characteristic of this beloved companion, radiallahu an. And like we said, you know, when he was wealthy, he showed it. And when he gave away all his wealth and charity, he had no problems living as, as a pauper. And that's who he, radiallahu an, was. And this is a characteristic we should all try to embody, this, this idea of making sure that wealth does not have a strong tie to our heart and making sure that it is a tool to help us for the akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all successful and make us all true zuhad. Ameen.